morning DBF family. So uh, today we're gonna switch gears a little bit, actually kind of literally. Um, we're gonna work on a project I bought probably, it's been close to a month ago and uh, the time has come to where I'm gonna need it here pretty quick. So we're gonna do some modifications to it so I can utilize its purpose and uh, I'm gonna walk you through what I'm doing to make it work. So. Let me go show you what I'm talking about. Well, you can see the nose of it right there. So there she is. 2003 Kenworth T300 with 14 foot flatbed. And this is what I'm gonna haul all my toys to Caneville and when we go on our big rides. But the problem I have is, is there's not really any way to tie down a bunch of bikes across the front. So. I'm gonna back this thing in the driveway, cut some metal up, and we're gonna build basically a bike rack to go across the front of that to hold probably four bikes, and then I can tie everything down on on the bed. So let's uh, look inside and we'll kind of show you what this thing's like. Pretty nice little truck, really. Got a sleeper back there in case my wife needs to take a nap fridge for your cold beverages and you know none of that automatic crap so let's get this old girl fired up and we'll get her backed in the driveway so what my plan is here We've got this receiver tubing in the back of the headache rack, basically. So I'm gonna come off of that with another piece of tube and then come along in probably four spots where you can nose the front tire in and tie the bikes down. And in between the front of that bar and this headache rack is where I'll stack you know, all my gas cans and my generator and a few things like that. So. It's actually gonna stick out about right here, but I think it's gonna work very well. So I'm gonna get some metal laid out here and we'll get gluing some things together with the metal welder. I'm gonna take this inch and a half square tubing and build the uh, front tire holder, basically, that will secure the bike down. And I'm gonna pull this off, put it in the garage, lay it on the floor, measure it out, and build the rest of it. kind of get a rough idea how this is going to work. I'll go ahead and bend a piece of flat plate that kind of comes around like this. It'll have a stop for the tire to come up against, almost like a cradle. And then I'll weld kickers from here down to there to keep it, you know, a little more rigid. And then we'll just tie the bike down to the mainframe and we'll be good to go. She's all tacked into place. I think it's gonna work actually really well. You can see that kind of pushes up against that plate there. It'll support it from folding back, so all that's left is just, you know, go going similar to that one on that side, similar to that one on that side. Weld it all together, put it on the truck. guys so there it is it's all tacked up into place so now all I have to do is 
get this thing all finished welded together. So I'm going to set it up on uh, saw horses so I'm not bending over trying to weld this on the ground and get it all glued together and uh, we'll put some tie downs on it and see how it works. I think it's going to work quite well actually. measure here, weld a tab to the bottom of this piece, come over, drill a hole, and put a bolt on each side, and that will keep it from moving this way at all. So get that done, weld in some eyelets in the middle, and some on the end here, and put some paint on it, and we'll be finished. Okay guys, so I got it all welded up, and I got the ends of the tube welded together with the hole that goes through the basically the edge of the bed to keep it from moving. So I'm gonna set this thing down on the ground. I'm gonna roll a couple of these 500s into it and uh, see if I can tie these things down. And if that works, we'll get some paint put on this thing and be done with this project. five hundos in a homemade rack so I don't know how much money that is in about hundred dollars worth of material and junk so hopefully it holds but check it out hey, baby I mean you got to do it you got to do it that ain't going nowhere I'll get this thing uh, cleaned up a little bit more and we'll squirt a little splash of paint on it and we'll be done with this project so Stay tuned for that. And this thing will truck will look good with these three 500s on the back of it. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, come on now. Good morning. So I have the bike stand. Let's see. Focus. Focus. There it is. See out there on the stands? Got it out there. And we're going to do some paint today. So what I have is I've got some good old fashioned hardware store Rust Oleum Black. I'm going to break out the O squirt gun. Let's get a coat on it and be done with this project. So let's get after it. I got her all painted up, put a couple quick coats of uh, black on it, and it looks really good, especially for, you know, what it is. So I'm gonna go get the old uh, tug wagon fired up, get some air build in it, pull it around, and uh, we'll throw her on. See how it looks. I think it's gonna look really nice on there. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a car, never change, play the game Okay, so there's three bikes on the back of the truck And as you can see I got enough room to build one more section here to haul a couple more, which I'm going to do, you know, later on down the road. But I've loaded three different sizes of bikes up. So I have my wife's 150, my 500, and then obviously the 70 over here. And the reason I did that is to show you that, you know, you can haul from little bikes to big bikes on this setup. So I think it's gonna work really well. And as an added bonus, look at that. My ramp fits right there above the boxes, really nice. Got lots of room for my generator, coolers, you know, gas cans, whatever I need to haul up front. 
that uh, won't fit in the boxes and leaves me all this room on the back. So, you know, I'm probably gonna build my wife a, a gas powered golf cart and uh, lift it and all that good stuff. So it's probably gonna live sideways right here on the back. So anyways, pretty happy with how that turned out. I got a full clip with your name on it But I'm gonna let you side cause you ain't worth it Time staying strong Need to move on to be what I want I'll keep dreaming on Time staying strong Need to move on to be what I want I'll keep dreaming on I'm really happy with how that turned out on the back of this little truck you know it's this is not you know a solution for everybody but this this works for me this truck whole truck setup is gonna work excellent for me I don't have to you know beg Jace or somebody or you know whoever to hey you got any room in your truck you can haul more of my junk uh, got lots of room to grow for more bikes and more toys obviously but the, I guess the whole point of this build is you guys can, if you have an enclosed trailer or a flatbed trailer, or, you know, you need to build one of these for something else to haul a bike and you're tired of the bikes, the front tire walking around. This is a pretty simple solution. I've built a couple of these for some enclosed trailers before for street bikes, you know, dirt bikes. They work really well. So anyways, I appreciate all you guys watching and uh, do me a favor hit the like button, definitely hit the subscribe button. All it does is help me out to build more builds. And uh, we got a lot more coming. Uh, trust me, I got a lot more builds coming and some pretty interesting, fun ones as far as bike stuff goes. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, definitely share with your friends and we'll catch you next time.